2015 was a whopper of a salmon season, but it also was the hottest summer on record in the Pacific Northwest. Although the spring salmon that anglers were catching near Riggins did fine, those salmon on later runs have suffered. Most of the sockeye never made it here to the trap near Redfish Lake. Instead, they were caught at Lower Granite Dam and trucked to hatcheries. And the summer Chinook that normally are processed here at the South Fork Trap on the Salmon River got into trouble too. Because of the water temperatures uh, in the South Fork being in the upper 70s, um, we were seeing a lot of mortality over there um, with fish that we were holding as well as fish that were in, uh, in the river swimming free. So those fish were then transported here. Elevated temperatures and low flows. Normally, the McCall Hatchery is housing catchable rainbow trout in the summer, but those fish were moved out early to lower elevation lakes and streams to make room for the Chinook salmon. We got an IBS female. IBS means integrated brood stock. We're integrating some of the wild genetics into the hatchery stock to uh, make a better performing product, more efficient. The first step in the spawning process is to sort the females. Those that are ready to be spawned are separated into hatchery or natural fish, indicated by the adipose fin. All hatchery fish have their adipose fins clipped before they are sent on their journey to the ocean. So you can see this doesn't have an adipose fin, so she's a hatchery fish or a ad. We call it an ad because she doesn't have an ad. She's got an ad mark. So we're going to cross her with a IBS male. The eggs are stripped from the female and dropped into a colander. Uh, then we will uh, crowd the males up um, and find the males that we will match with those females and then we'll cross those fish. Uh, the eggs will be collected here in this area and then they'll be transported up to the building uh, where they'll be put in incubation. Sometime in December they will hatch out and the fry will be reared inside the hatchery. Next June, they will be moved outside to these raceways for the final rearing. So the fish will be in there until spring of 17, then they'll be transported back over to the South Fork and released back into the South Fork Salmon River. So.